When driving a vehicle, what effect could icy roads have? The vehicle could skid more easily than normal. Front tire treads could wear out more quickly. Tire grip improves with lower temperatures. Rear tire treads could wear out more quickly. After a heavy downpour, why should a driver keep a greater distance from the vehicle in front? Because wheel spray may impair visibility. Because stopping distances are decreased. Because wheels rotate at a greater speed after rain. Because wheels rotate at a slower speed after rain. What is the maximum permissible speed of a car towing a caravan on national roads? 100 km per hour, 120 km per hour, 80 km per hour, 60 km per hour, When attaching a trailer to their vehicle, what should a driver check? That the trailer springs are well greased? That the trailer coupling is attached securely? That the load is positioned to the front of the trailer? That the trailer has a spare wheel? If the vehicle's windows are covered with ice, what should the driver do before undertaking a journey? Use boiling water to clear the ice. Drive slowly until the heater and demister have cleared the ice from the windows. Clear enough space in the windscreen to be able to see ahead. Clear the ice from the windows before starting. What does this road marking mean? No parking in this area. A driver may overtake in this area. Set down area only. Road surface is uneven.
In dry weather, how might a driver judge what is a safe following distance to vehicle in front? By allowing at least two seconds to elapse between the vehicle in front and the driver's own vehicle passing a fixed point, drive at the same speed as the vehicle in front. Allow at least two vehicle lengths for each kilometer per hour by allowing at least two vehicle lengths between the vehicles. What should a driver do if they wish to turn right at traffic lights while the green light is showing and there is oncoming traffic approaching? Wait for the light to turn amber and then make the turn. Remain at the stop line until a suitable gap in the oncoming traffic appears before making the turn. Go forward towards the centre of the junction and wait for a suitable gap to appear in the oncoming traffic before making the turn. Remain at the stop line until a green arrow comes on. What cars are required to have rear seat belts fitted? Cars first registered after 1st January 1992. All cars. Cars first registered prior to 1st January 1992. Cars first registered prior to 1st January 1987. What effect does a wet road surface have on a vehicle's braking ability? It makes no difference to the braking distance. Generally, it doubles the normal braking distance required on a dry surface. It decreases the braking distance for vehicles without ABS. It reduces the braking distance required. When driving behind a heavy goods vehicle that is signalling to turn right, what should a driver do? Tap on the vehicle brakes to signal to other vehicles to slow down. See if the vehicle can complete the turn without stopping, and if not, overtake it yourself. Stay behind until there is sufficient space to overtake it on the inside or until it has completed the turn. Overtake it slowly on the inside by driving partly on the footpath if necessary.
see if the vehicle can complete the turn without stopping. What can be adversely affected by underinflated tires? Handbrake. Gear changing. Steering. Suspension. When approaching the pedestrian crossing, what should the driver do in this situation? Sound the horn to draw attention to your vehicle and continue to drive at the same speed. Maintain speed because the pedestrians have not stepped onto the crossing. Slow down in good time and be prepared to stop. Continue to drive on fast because the pedestrians have to wait. What must a driver be aware of before entering a roundabout? Traffic coming from behind, how fast it's travelling and how close it is. The traffic to the right, how fast it's travelling and how close it is. The traffic ahead, how fast it's travelling and how close it is. The traffic coming from the left, how fast it's travelling and how close it is. When may a driver use full headlights when driving at night? This practice is not permitted. Between the hours of 1 a.m. and 7 a.m. only. Between the hours of 7 p.m. and 1 a.m. only. When there is no oncoming traffic. If taking unprescribed medication, what should a driver check before driving their vehicle? Check that the medication does not affect driving? Nothing. The use of soft drugs will not affect driving ability. Nothing. Only prescribed medication will affect driving ability. Make sure they have their medication with them while driving.
What is the immediate effect of a head-on collision between two cars at speed? Only rear seat belts will activate. Only front seat belts will activate. All persons in each vehicle are thrown violently forward. All persons in each vehicle are thrown violently backwards. How can a driver assist a motorcyclist who is in shock on the road following an incident? Lie the motorcyclist on their side in the recovery position. Sit the motorcyclist up and get them a hot drink. Move the motorcyclist to the side of the road. Remove the motorcyclist's helmet. What danger should a driver allow for over the brow of this hill? A high-sided vehicle may be approaching. A vehicle may be broken down. There may be a pelican crossing ahead. Safety cameras may be in operation. While driving, a driver notices a strong smell of fuel. What should they do? Stop where safe and investigate. Open the windows and continue on. Drive at a reduced speed. Turn on the fan to clear the air. What should the driver do in this situation? The driver is not allowed to turn right. The driver must allow the red car to proceed. The driver must allow the blue truck to proceed. The driver may proceed first. What should a driver do when they approach roadworks warning signs? 
Reduce speed and be prepared to stop for works vehicles or a flagman. Engage a lower gear to improve grip and maintain speed. Engage a higher gear to avoid getting stuck in soft ground. Maintain speed until signaled to slow down by a flagman. What traffic may use a contraflow bus lane? Buses and taxis. Buses, taxis and cyclists. Buses, taxis and motorcycles. Buses on a scheduled service. Is a driver permitted to park at an entrance to a property? Yes, with the property owner's consent. Yes, for one hour only. Yes, during business hours. Yes, outside business hours. In slow-moving city traffic, a driver should occasionally check their blind spots for which road users in particular. Vans, cars, pedestrians, taxis. How should a driver secure their vehicle before getting out of it? Apply the parking brake, stop the engine and engage a low gear. Engage a low gear and stop the engine. Angle the wheels towards the curb and stop the engine. Angle the wheels away from the curb and stop the engine. What should a driver do if the fuel system becomes airlocked? Loosen the fuel pump. Drain the fuel filter. Tighten the injector pipes. Bleed the air out of the fuel system.
What should drivers be aware of if they meet horses with riders on the road? Drivers should be aware that loud noises from their vehicle may frighten the horses and cause them to bolt. Drivers should be aware that horse riders are obliged to dismount and control their horses while traffic is passing. Drivers should be aware that all horse riders are experienced at handling horses. Drivers should be aware that loud noises from their vehicle will not frighten the horses. At a level crossing with unattended gates, what should a driver do? Drive halfway across and close the first gate before opening the second. Telephone the nearest railway station before opening a gate. Open both gates before proceeding to cross. Open both gates and, after passing the first, stop and close it. What does this hand signal mean? The cyclist intends to dismount. The cyclist intends to overtake. The cyclist intends to turn left. The cyclist intends to stop. What does this sign mean? Y junction ahead with roads of equal importance. Junction ahead with dual carriageway. Major road ahead. Junction ahead with roads of lesser importance. What is the minimum safe distance to leave between vehicles travelling at 100 km per hour on a dry road? 72 metres 82 metres 62 metres 92 metres What should a driver do on a narrow road when another vehicle is coming in the opposite direction? Drive along the middle of the road to encourage the other driver to pull in. Expect the other driver to pull off the road and allow you to pass. Maintain position and expect the other vehicle to move over if necessary. Reduce speed and allow reasonable clearance between their vehicle and the oncoming one before proceeding.
vehicle is being driven by a person who is not its owner, but who has the owner's consent, who should ensure that the vehicle is properly insured? The driver only. Both the driver and the vehicle owner. The insurance company. The vehicle owner only. When driving along and required to stop suddenly, what should a driver do? Apply the foot brake firmly. Apply the hand brake and the foot brake together. Steer sharply to one side and apply the hand brake. First, depress the clutch and then apply the foot brake. What do these signs together mean? Pedestrianised street ahead. Traffic not allowed except during times shown. Parking not allowed during times shown. Access for buses and taxis only during times shown. Clear way ahead. No stopping or parking during times shown. When driving on a windy day and a cyclist is up ahead, what should a driver do? Allow extra clearance in case the cyclist is blown off course. Expect the cyclist to be alert and to keep into the left. Maintain course but sound the horn as a warning. Maintain course but prepare to swerve around the cyclist if necessary. What does this sign mean? School ahead. Picnic area ahead. Children's play area ahead. Pedestrian crossing ahead. What does this sign mean? Overtaking lane ahead. Motorway ahead. Two-way street ahead. Straight ahead only. In this situation, should a driver overtake the cyclists? 
No, the driver cannot see clearly ahead. Yes, provided the broken white line does not become continuous. Yes, oncoming traffic can observe the situation and move out of the way. No, a driver may not overtake on a broken.